First of all, of course, practice it just separate rowings. So, but then there is, I think, a little trick in order to, to uh, play the scales down in a more secure way. So, play lighter but very calm and with a small bow, the, uh, the, the first uh, four notes. Then, so after the first shift, you have to give a little bit more weight on it, but play lighter just at the beginning. The same thing for, for every passage. When they... Um, so it's always very light in the beginning, and then you go. Just listen well the notes, because if you press too much with the bow there, the notes just changing the, the, their uh, frequency and it just doesn't sound that good. Articulate well with the left hand, place it very well, practicing the separate bowings, and then just play light, small bow near the frog and then go uh, further. You have to know very, very well how many notes and how many fingers you have to play before every shift. And then the shift has to be very smooth so just go by, by sections in your mind, but when you play, just play it through. So when we come to the um, agitato part, well, before that, of course, you could make a little crescendo in the end on the, on the chromatic scale. And when you play the chord, don't forget to play this third string. There's not, it has to be heard, it's not just the third. So when you come to the agitato, well, of course, you have to practice it separate bowings and to know well your notes, your, your strings, your positions, everything. So, and learn it in, in quick, fast tempo also. Okay, when you start working on the bow stroke, first you could practice it a little bit with returning movement. And then, without forcing your hand, play with a little stop or playing longer the third note, the last note of the ricochet. 